up YouTube, Srob. Do a little post ban modern action. Practice frame has been kind of filled with a lot of jank, actually. I haven't seen too much um, straight, like, uh, I haven't seen too much, like, zoo showing up here. I've seen a lot of that mono green Nykthos, which is really easy for me, but... I'll see. I keep getting some weird stuff. So this is going to be a, a mill. Um, that said, I think I'll play the Bitter Blossom here so I can start clocking him. this now. I think I'll get rid of that plum veil. won't be searching my library so his mind break or his archive trap won't go off. He's trying to get a black land. I won't be playing that. He starts uh, milling me, and I'll get a Raven Scribe in there. So I'll be saving the lands in my hand. Yeah, just give up. So the ley line completely shuts them down. Really hard. We'll take out the critter removal there. And that's it. You hit the ley line, and that's it. I actually saw at least one mill deck in the first uh, published tournament results post ban. Somebody went three and one with a mill deck, which is pretty cool, actually. I'm happy to have as many of these easy eight rack matches as you know as you can get up in there. The only thing that they do that they occasionally run, which can cause problems, is Jace Balaran. Uh, baby Jace, if you will, Jace 1.0, whatever. Um, sometimes mill decks will run that. Holy shiza. Um, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> I'll keep it. I mean, it's stupid, but whatever. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I just had to do that. I had to do that. That's silly. Um, okay, so, yeah, I mean... You want to play a deck with a linear strategy like that, then expect to get sh shut down by a one card. Because there's no strategy out there, no linear strategy out there that doesn't have a card to combat it. So, uh, I guess that's what we learned from this. Uh, moving on. Let me know what you guys think. Later.